Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our twin flames, okay? So all of our divine feminines and all of our divine masculines, honey. If you in any way at all identify as a twin and twin twin ninja, then this reading is for Joe. Y'all know I seen that shit different every time. All right, but let us see. <laughs> Let us see what the messages are here for our twins. Welcome, welcome to anybody who is new. And welcome back to anybody who is returning. We're using a new mic today. So if it sounds weird or if it's just cringy, I'll change it out, okay? So don't worry about that. I'm forever, ever, ever, forever, ever evolving, okay? So let us see. What are the messages for the twins? Woo! We have unclear, all right? I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore, all right? So whichever side it comes from, all right? Is it true? I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Like I told you guys, um, the divine counterparts don't want to see you with somebody else. That's never going to be the case, all right? They might be okay with it if that's what you really want, but that's not ultimately a choice they would make. It's not that reference you get what i'm saying we have you're my favorite okay you're the person i want to call when something good or bad happens the first thought when i have news to share you're my person okay so it's like they know you're their person however they're unclear as to whether or not they should come towards you they should let you know if it's the best thing for you if it's the best thing for them like they feel like you're their person but they just don't know if it's if it's what you deserve or if it's for you or you get what I'm, it's something like that it's like you're my person but i don't know if i'm your person like like i don't know if i'm good enough for you or some shit like that it's mad weird we have showing out okay i'm acting like i don't care about what's happened between us but i do i just want to appear unbothered okay so hmm, maybe the person is acting like that and then we have twin flame okay so it's definitely about your 20 it says you activated my soul to find my true purpose and my destiny in life you helped me heal in ways no one else could Thank you for finding me again this time around. Aw, but, but for real, though, that's really how you be feeling about your twin. Like, for real, though, that's really how you be feeling. So we have wild side, okay? There's a side to you I haven't seen and want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, all right? This isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and us right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together again soon. See what I'm saying? They're unclear. They need to sort some things out, y'all. Tears. When I think about you, I cry. All right. So, mm, missing you. All right. This person is missing you. I miss you. I wish things were different. All right. So, there's a lot going on here. Obviously, I'm going to pick one more of these and keep it rolling. You hurt me. Everything that happened hurt me so much. I need more time to heal. Underline your energy. I'm single. All right. So something here happened all right now. If you did not see the reading I did yesterday, go and check it out. It's over on the Patreon, you guys. All right. And um, masculine feels like feminine hurt them too. All right. And I revealed over there how. So if you're not a member to the Patreon, go and check it out. All right, maybe more will come out on that here for you guys on the tube. We'll bless you with that. But in the event that it does not, you might want to head over to that Patreon. All right, but we have, please understand that I need some space right now. Don't forget about me. I haven't forgot about you. Okay, so that's where they're coming from. Please be patient because I'm afraid of commitments. All right, they're afraid of committing to you. All right, but the mere fact or thought of you dealing with someone else, committing to someone else, being with someone else in that way where you're submitting yourself to them. OK, because both partners should be submitting to one another, honestly. But anyway, where you're submitting yourself to them, that's going to I can't even explain how that's going to feel for them. OK, but it says I want to take care of you the way you've always taken care of me. OK, so like I said, you awaken within them, within them their purpose, what it is that they're here to do or several things that they're here to do. So you have multiple purposes to fulfill. Right. But let us see. Let us see what the messages are. Thank you, spirit. All right, we have all I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. You get what I'm saying? So 
maybe that's why they're unclear. I don't know how to feel about this connection anymore because I feel like I'm so attracted to you. Is that all it is? Is that I'm just attracted to you because I'm still hurt. I'm, I'm still hurting from the things that have happened here, but I'm still attracted to you, but I'm still hurt. So is it that like, I don't know. I need time to figure out how I feel. You get what I'm saying? Underlying energy here is no one compares to you. Okay. So yeah, I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. They're so serious about this. Okay. Let's see. All right, so I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you, okay? They really do feel like you're their person. They're just wondering if they're good enough for you. Or once again, a lot of you have already started dealing with other people. I hide my true desires for you. Yeah, they miss the sh out of you, and they're hiding it. They're hurting themselves. Oh, my God. I mean, oh, my goodness. <laughs> like, uh, Like, oh, God. They're hurting themselves, you guys, because <clears throat> it's like, if this person hurt you, that hurt them. You get what I'm saying? Um, because them hurting you could have caused you to move on. So ultimately, that's what happened, right? It's like it's being reflected back at to them, back at them, excuse me, what they did, Okay at to them it's like i said both of the damn words we could think mercury retrograde for that me saying both at and to okay but yeah let us see we have maybe we are better off separated see what i'm saying that's their thinking they're like oh, i can't this pain is too intense it's too intense it's too intense i would rather just miss the person to be up close and personal with them and be feeling like this and be wanting them in this type of way but possibly can't have them in the way that i want them you know, I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. So it makes it really hard for them once again. So other people were interfering and trying to control me. Underline energy. Wow. So the reason why you guys were not together in the first place is because of some people or things that were in between or that got in the middle, got involved or whatever the case may be that caused a drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. And when it happened like that, you get what I'm saying? It really left the person in a state of coming after you because that's never that's never what they wanted they didn't want that you get what i'm saying I, it's like i can't get the words out maybe this is how the person feels they have so many things they want to say to you but where do they even begin where do they even begin okay i saw i saw um I'm getting a lot of downloads right now, you guys. But I saw the roller coaster, okay, with the adrenaline rush card. But they get worked all up and they're ready to tell you. And just like when you're on that roller coaster, maybe you decide, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore because maybe it's too high for you. You know what I mean? Somebody could be scared of heights or afraid of heights. It's a similar feeling. They get to that point of, oh my God, yeah, I'm about to walk up to them. And when I see them, I'm going to tell them this and this is how I feel. And whoop, whoop, whoop. Then they see you and they get quiet. They can't say anything. You get what I'm saying? So. It's like their fear is paralyzing them, okay? So we have magnetic, but they're constantly drawn back to you. All I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. Attracted, magnetic, constantly drawn back to you, constantly tuned in, plugged in, connected to you. Wanting to see what you're doing, what you up to, where you been at, who you bees with, okay? So pop up. This person wants to pop up on you, okay? Plan an unexpected surprise visit. All right, the other card that has this energy on it says plot twist, so there could be a plot twist here. Spirit is like, hold fast. Remember the cards we were seeing is saying it's not over? Okay, it's not, because maybe the person is thinking in this moment, you know what, it might be best for us to be separated. Let's continue to be separated. And then with doing that, they're like, oh my God, this is worse. Why do I, why do I, why did I think this was better? You get what I'm saying? Like that, that type of energy. Why, why did I think this was better? Then they come here, clown. They're embarrassed. Because they really do miss you. They have all of these feelings for you. They hide them from you or they hid them from you. And they're just embarrassed by how they look or what you would think or what you would say or how you would feel. Or you get what I'm saying? That's overall what it boils down to. Okay. They feel like you would look at them like they're toxic or maybe you look at them now like they're toxic or you view them as poisonous or just not for you. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I said they're looking at it like you're my person, but do you feel like I'm your person now? You get what I'm saying? Based on the things that I did, based on, you get what I'm saying, what I have going on, do you even still believe that we're for each other the same way? You don't even see this person the same way? You look at them, you see them different now. That's how they feel. 
They're like, when you look at me, do you still see me or do you see me as something different? You get what I'm saying? So we have Archangel Michael it says protection, prevent it from harm, divine intervention. All right. So spirit's going to step in and show this person like, you sure y'all better off separated? You get what I'm saying? You sure? This person might also have to heal some things that they experienced or that they dealt with when they were a child. Okay. Uh, one second, guys. Okay. So, um, sorry about that, y'all. I had a very important phone call. All right. But we have children here. Okay. So, like I said, something could have happened to them during their childhood. But I'm also seeing here what I really, I'm getting really sad during this reading. I cannot even stop. Okay, I cannot even style. Y'all know I cannot lie to you guys. I don't do that. <laughs> Not here on this channel. I'm getting sad because as a true intuitive and the, a clear sentient person, I feel everything in this reading. And like, if y'all can't see, I don't know if you guys can see or not based on the angle, but my leg is shaking and I cannot stop it from shaking. I feel like this person, this is how they're feeling right now. You get what I'm saying? Like very anxious. They're missing you. They're hiding their true desires. Just like, you get what I'm saying? This person has on clown paint or face paint. You get what I'm saying? So they're, they're understanding or here, I'm trying to get it for you guys because this is how they feel. It's like they're trying to find the words to say and they can't. You get what I'm saying? They can't. Um, they're hoping that you can just see it. You know, it's like before they never had to say anything to you. You just knew. And they're wondering if, if that's still the case. Because they're not showing it to you, but the eyes are the windows to the soul. And the way this person's eyes look, this person is so sad. And one of the things that I'm hearing from spirit, a clear audience message that I got, because that's another clear that I am, right? But another clear audience message that I got was this person has been controlled by like family members their entire life. What I mean by that is. You get what I'm saying? They might have certain beliefs. They might feel certain ways. They might want to do certain things. They might think certain things are okay. They might not be judgmental, but maybe their family is. Okay. Maybe their family thinks certain things are wrong. Maybe their family turns their nose up to people. Who knows? You get what I'm saying? But they've been controlled for a really, really long time since childhood. All right. Um, and then there's also like a super, super close knit type of feeling here. Okay, with this person and their family. They love you, but it's like they tried to hide it, okay, too, because there was these people are under an umbrella, but it's one of those clear umbrellas, so we could clearly see through it. You get what I'm saying? Like that. Like I should see through as hell. You get what I'm saying? And once again, here's that roller coaster. So it's like they get super excited because you give them this super high high. You get what I'm saying? The highest of highs. And then when they get up there, it's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, they start panicking. All right, so my leg is shaking. Okay. Thank you, spirit. But yeah, here we go. Single. So the person is single again. It keeps coming out like that. They're single. They're available. But now that they are, they're ready for you. You're looking at them like, mm -mm, forbidden. Mm -mm, can't do it. Mm -mm, or something like that. Or you're possibly the forbidden fruit. Because like I said, some of you are talking to somebody, dealing with somebody. You get what I'm saying? They look at you like, damn, I really want that. I really want that apple. I really want that apple. I really want that apple. But they know they can't have the apple, which is making it even worse. You get what I'm saying? So let us see here. We have family. What I told you. All right. What I told you. That's who was doing it. Blood ties in a circle. So it's something. It's something real. And when we say in blood ties. Okay. You know how to be like blood magic. Well, if that's your family through birth, through, you know, blood, then yeah, it's, it's energy too. They have a hold on you too. They can control you too. Just like that, by being your family, you get what I'm saying? By you loving them so deep, by you not wanting to disappoint them so much that you're willing to disappoint or let your own freaking self down. You get what I'm saying? That's that's how deep this person has been controlled. So this, to me, is given like um, someone who's not from America, because in America, you know, our parents are very um, <laughs> what people would call. A little, a little, a little wow, you know, it's a, they would call our parents a little wow for the way they do some things. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> well, other people's parents are very strict. You have to have a certain um, GPA. You get what I'm saying? You cannot do certain things. You cannot, I mean, period. They're very strict. You get what I'm saying? So they could have had an extremely strict upbringing or something like that. And 
I don't know, y'all. This is just what I'm getting into the downloads that I'm receiving. So it's like it was never them that disapproved of you. It was just their fear that maybe their family would or something like that. That controlled them. That controlled them. Okay, so let us see here. Two children here. This person could have child or two children. You could have child or two children. They could be one of two children. Okay. So they could be a twin or you get what I'm saying? Their parents had two children or something like that. We have the three of swords. Yeah, so this person is heartbroken, y'all. That's what I said. I can't style you. I'm very sad during this reading. Like, the energy here is very heavy. It's not like the last couple of readings where everything was like, yeah, y'all, woo, woo, woo. Nope, this is not like that. Mm -mm. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like, honestly, true, like, um, empaths, right, empathic people, are going to read like this because we feel everything you get what I'm saying we feel everything so the weight of this reading is like this how I sound is exactly what it's like so if it's giving sad if it's giving depression if it's giving that's what they feel okay in this present moment, today, right now, your divine masculine is feeling withdrawn of his happiness. Right now, today, this is what's going on. Okay? So, we got the five of swords. See what I'm saying? They feel like they lost out on something or they missed out on something. All right. All because of the people around them and the people around them are happy while they're miserable and they, they can't even freaking notice that this person isn't happy. They got this damn clown paint on like the, 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 the fake smile painted on, but this is really how they feel on the inside. Do y'all see this person's face and how they look like the color is just leaving their body? So much so that they have to paint their face to pretend. Like, this is some real shit right here. This is real shit. And it's all because somebody didn't stand up for you. Because somebody didn't fight for you. All right? And it's also due to someone's mom, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a mother or a wife. Truth be told, y'all, if you met this person while they were already married or they were already, like, promised to, to be married or anything like that. Like I said, it feels foreign and... You know how those situations go sometimes. It be stuff like that. We don't know, but I'm picking up on a lot of those things. So y'all let me know, you know, email if you don't want to put your business out there. Because y'all know I'm I'm uh, mysterious and secretive and personal like that. So if y'all would rather email it and keep it private instead of commenting, that's fine too. We can keep doing that. Um, or you can put it in a comment, whatever you feel comfortable with. But... That's just what I feel, though. I feel like this was, you know, due to somebody else. And look at this person's face. They're sitting there looking real smug because they got what they wanted at the end of the day. But this person doesn't feel good about it at all. Okay. So they also feel like for some of them, like they did it to protect you. You get what I'm saying? Or something like that. We have the hangman here. Okay. But this person is seeing things from a different perspective. Okay, or trying to. Okay. Also, the Queen of Pentacles, as we know, is a wife, is a homemaker. Like I said, they could see you as a wife, as a homemaker, as someone they would want to be the mother of their child or children. You get what I'm saying? But once again, it's something here about pleasing and satisfying everybody else. Okay, making sure that they're happy first and foremost. We have the will of fortune, but this person wants to move forward. They're ready to move forward, put themselves at the top of the wheel and stop like cheating themselves out of the things they feel they deserve yeah we have the knight of pentacles a lot of them feel like they've slowed themselves down instead of you know allowing all of what could have potentially been to happen because of other people's opinions or other people's this or other people's that with the page of wands people had a lot to say you get what i'm saying they they would have had a lot to say or they had a lot to say or it was just people's opinions 
to his words, okay? And they might have seen that. They might have known that. They were aware of that, but they still did not want to disappoint whoever or whatever. Or You get what I'm saying? So I don't know, but that's what we see, okay? So we have... The Queen of Wands, yeah, the Page of Swords. But this person is continually drawn back to you. You get what I'm saying? So vibrant, so full of life. Remember, magnetic. Okay, high energy levels. This and that. Okay, Page of Swords. They're they're curious about you. They feel like you're their favorite book. You get what I'm saying? Those of you who like to read, you understand me. You know, like you have books that you'll reread a million times because every time you read it. You done learned something new or you done discovered something new or something different. It's like no matter how much time passes, this person is always learning new things about you. They find you to be so fascinating. You get what I'm saying? Like they are so just I can't even explain it to you. It's like two of wands. Yes, they had a choice to make, but they always wanted to choose this. They, they were always willing to do this. It was never them. Okay. We have a King of Pentacles here. That's the match to the Queen of Pentacles earlier. So, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a King of Wands pop out too. Okay. We did see the Twin Flame card race. We already know this is the Twin. It's been confirmed already. You get what I'm saying? Temperance. It's something here about divine timing. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. It's something about divine timing. Okay. Because I feel like this, there's an angel. Okay. It could be a, um, a spiritual angel, like somebody who's in spirit form, or it could be a earth angel, someone who's here on earth, you know, a physical body, um, that's guiding this person, okay, to take this new beginning, yeah, okay, underlying energy, queen of cups, toward this queen of cups, okay, to go toward this person, all right, we're gonna wrap this thing on up, y'all, we are going to wrap this thing all the way up, okay, Let's see. Okay. We're going to do it like this, y'all. <laughs> All right. Let us see what comes out. What comes out here for the queen. Woo! All right. One fell, and I got to take it, y'all. We got the number seven. So there's spiritual ascension going on. We have Aries. We have Leo. We also have the number seven. So 77 is here. So number of abundance. Leo's here twice, y'all. Okay. And some of you are definitely going to be um, taking action or somebody's going to be taking action to come towards you because we have Mars. Okay. So I hope that this helps you. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and have